ABC, S, B, C. So just take this SBC. Yes, please. All of you take the SBC. Then take a switch, S, W, I, T, C, H, switch. So right here, switch, S, W. So take this switch. This rocker switch. Then take the LED, okay? L E D. Simple LED. So we will write a very simple program. Once the switch will on, so the light should be on, okay? So we will write a very simple program, okay? We will write a very simple program here. So how we can turn on the light, okay? So for the time being, I'm not taking the actual light, but mean that the lamp. Just to make you understand how you can write a simple program. Okay, so go to the SBC here. Okay, click it on the SBC. Okay, don't click first. First, make the connection now. See, so what is your input? So you are getting the input from this switch. Okay, so first, this is the IoT custom cable. So this is your D0 and you can connect with D0 or D1, okay? You are taking the input from, this is your input, okay? So you are getting the input from the switch, okay? If it will be on, the LED should be on. Okay, if it is off, the LED should be off. So we need to write a program. So this is your input and this is your output. Output, we can say D1. So the D1 is our output and D0 is our input. So our SBC is taking an input from this D0 digital port and giving the output signal on digital port 1 to the LED. Now, we, are, we need, this is our connection, okay? Now we need to write a simple code here, okay? Just one minute. Okay, let me make a little bit arrangement, okay? Now go to the programming. This is a blank Python, okay? Just click it here. This is the main pipe. So now what we will do, we can import. So this is a predefined code, okay? It is written. If you want to delete, you can delete it. If you want, okay, I will delete this one while true everything I'm going to delete, okay? Now the main function let it to be so this is the main function i'm not going to delete this one main function okay because it need to run okay this main function always you need to declare this one this is a prerequisite it means you have to declare in c you have to mention uh, the uh, the pre-processing library you need to add like conio.h as studio.h those are the predefined libraries okay so at least in your Python program, you should have a main function, okay? So this is your main function. Before going to discuss the main function, first you need to import the library, okay? So the first library you need to import about journal purpose input output, GPIO pins. This is the first library you need to import for Raspberry Pi, okay? The second is a time library you need to import in your Python program for Raspberry Pi. So these two libraries you have to import. Okay. The first library is the GPIO. So this is I'm going to import. And second library is a time library because if I need to add a delay. Okay. So then the time library should be imported. Okay. Now I will write a program. Okay. The program first we need to define the pin. So we have a two pins pin zero and pin one. I need to define these two pin, okay? So pin, sorry, pin mode, okay? Pin mode, let me zoom. Now it is okay, now. So pin mode, okay? So the pin mode, so what is the pin mode position of this pin? It is zero, okay? So it is zero and this is our, sorry, one minute. One minute. Okay, so now pin mode zero. This is zero, and it is our input pin. So just simply type input, or if you want to write a full input, you can write, but okay, no issue. You can write I and mean this is input. Okay, then the second pin, pin 
mode okay the pin mode you can write here the second pin is d1 so it is a pin mode 1 okay it is connected with 1 oh, sorry pin number 1 uh, so i will write 1 okay and this is my output pin it is the input pin and this is the output pin okay just simply write o u t out okay so this is your output pin so here in the main i want to print light on or something any message if i want to print you can print okay print light on or any message if you want to print you can print no issue okay this is now we are because continuously it will run the program okay if we are telling if this switch is on on mean high the light should be on else this pin should be off okay if it is not on then the led should be off now we need to run a program first it should run continuously if it is on it should run continuously okay if it is off it should also run continuously so while true while true if digital read this is a function okay digital read function zero it mean on this port if if this is high if it is getting a high signal from this switch digital port zero okay because this is our input na so if it is high zero if it is high digital port zero if we are getting a high signal mean if it is on if it is equal equal to high okay then what it need to do it need to write a digital write to sorry digital write pin number 1 so pin should be high so it if it is getting a high signal here mean the on the switch is on so it need to send the signal on digital port number 1 so we need to make this digital port number 1 also high high me 1 or you can write 1 or 1 1 or high okay it's up to you we will see else because now we need to add the else condition okay so else else digital right one should be low okay otherwise it should be zero zero or one okay so we will change it later on so the main function it will be as it is now we will see we will run the program and we will see is there any error or not if there is any error we need to troubleshoot okay now uh bling python bad input in the file in line number 7 line line number uh, this one okay but here this is the uh, the while loop okay now while true okay now here this one remove it run the program okay now see here just press the alt key and you will see now it is on see see press the alt key now it is working fine see off again on see and off on and off did you notice just it is a very simple program very simple program you can write it here okay now this one is clear na we will change the scenario okay so uh, the scenario is instead of this button i will use a motion sensor i will use a motion sensor okay just i will take one more Uh, one minute let it to be off uh, the program sorry where is the please like and subscribe to head the tech light l i g light 
let me take this one this is with a custom right yeah this is the function the custom right so are we are using the custom right yeah just one minute custom right one is equal to low and high so we will use this one okay if the motion is detected if the motion is detected motion is one zero two three custom right one should be high else it should be low okay now this is a custom right custom right function though so this is a custom right function okay now we will see this is the one i need to connect with the one okay now i need to connect with the one see here so custom right run the program motion press the alt key bring your mouse cursor. see now here we have a different value see here now uh, before going to discuss uh, the motion and this one and here we have a different value just one minute i just want to share with you so here for this one see we have one see one dim two on so it should be two not low and high we cannot use low and high so one it should be two here just right mean the value should be two okay value should be zero now run the program and press the on key now did you observe the light is on yes see again if the motion see here there is no motion then it should be off okay so after some time see here now it is off yes malik now you have seen this one and uh, now here what we need to do we will make a new scenario now in 5 minutes okay the same the same program please if the motion is detected we can add a door so i will take the door okay and uh, i will take the camera webcam okay now just try to make little bit complex okay just one minute so i we need to connect okay if the motion is detected the door should be open okay because this is my smart home na if the motion is detected the camera should be on and door should be open yes how i can do it yes please for the door see this is also custom dot right function for the door so open sorry close one open one don't care so this is your uh, this is the uh, this is the one okay one is equal to open minus one so we will write one open okay so custom dot right the function we can use uh, alt key click and the the custom dot right okay for the door and for uh, this one this is also custom dot right function we can use to enable it and on mean on okay so for both okay so who will write the program for this scenario suppose you are having a motion sensor in your home okay if the motion is detected the door should open automatically and the, the security camera should be on and the light should be on inside the house okay so if anyone who will come your camera should be on the door should be open and the light should be on okay so how you can modify this program and how you can expand your program so the see now this is your input and this is your input can you tell me what are these are the input or output yes tell me see this is your input so pin number we can say d2 d2 is connected with my webcam and my d3 the door is connected okay so digital port number 3 my door is connected if the motion will detected the door should be open and webcam should be on so i need to write because before we were writing a condition now we are writing a program okay this is the only difference here now we need to write a program so how we can write a program can you help me now yes please can you help me 
So first we need to define the pin. So is it our input or output pin, Malik? Tell me. Yes, Mr. So this digital port D2 is my input or output pin? Uh, so input. No, this is output, no, because input, the, uh, this yes, sir, SBC, sir. yeah, see, SBC getting the input from here only, because if the motion is detected, so this is your output, it will also turn on the camera, it will open the gate, sorry, the door, and it will turn on the light, it means these are our input pin, yeah, D2 is input, D3 is input, okay, now, so what I will do, I will just copy, just one minute, let me make, let it to be a ring, because I'm not creating a new program, I'm just going to change it here, okay? So, so one minute, let me copy. This is our input, okay? I need to define, so this one input, so two more pins. So, no, this is our, uh, sorry, this is our output, sorry. This is our output pin, na? So, because here, pin control C, Okay, so digital D2 is our output and D3 is also our output pin. Okay, and uh, now, now we are saying if the motion is detected, okay, 1, 0, 2, 3, 1 should be, so we are saying, so the camera should be on, Yes, so the camera should be on me, it should be one, okay, and the door should be open, okay, the door should be open, open means, okay, so here, so port number two should be one, one mean open, sorry, uh, the on, and Port number three, so digital port number three should be open, mean the door should be open, okay? Just let me zoom, at least you will get more clarity, okay? Okay, so now see custom write one dot, so this is your digital port number one, it should be on, two mean on. So here custom dot write, as I told you, so this is your port, uh, digital port number two, should be on, the camera should be on, two, port, port number two should be on, and custom dot write port number three should be on, okay? So else, just simply copy this one and write it should be zero. Two should be, otherwise, it should be zero, okay? Now, we can, stop and clear the output and run the program okay now now run the program okay so the motion is detected you will see here the motion is detected and once see the camera on light on door open did you observe did you observe this one see? the motion detected the door is open the camera is on and the light is on did you notice? See, once the motion, there is no motion, the door is off, webcam is off, and the light is off. Please like and subscribe to Heather Tech.